Hi, my name is Betsy Albright, and I'm an assistant professor of the practice at the Nicholas School. I currently serve as the chair of the Environmental Economics and Policy Program area, what we call EAP. This short recording will provide some background information about the program area, one of several program areas in our professional Masters of Environmental Management, MEM, program. So what is the EAP program? Students in the EAP program focus on economics and policy courses to propel them into a variety of career trajectories. The program offers a breadth and depth in policy, politics, and economics courses across a variety of environmental topics such, such as energy, water, climate, fisheries, health, and forestry. We offer a mix of quantitative and qualitative courses with which to analyze environmental issues. Students can learn about environmental governance from the local level to the global arena. Students in the EAP program area choose between two tracks, either one that focuses on economics or the other in policy analysis. In addition to the EAP core courses, students take courses in the natural sciences in an area in which they want to specialize. For example, these courses could be in climatic systems, ecosystem science, water resources, or environmental health and toxicology, among many other areas. Also, there are three certificate programs that students may enroll in, geospatial analysis, climate change science, and community-based environmental management. This slide shows a basic outline of our curriculum. As mentioned previously, students choose one of two tracks, policy analysis or economics. Students also take what we call tools courses, skills-based courses, quantitative or qualitative, used to analyze environmental issues and potential solutions. For example, I teach the Applied Data Analysis course in which students analyze a variety of data sets to answer policy or decision-relevant questions. Students also take courses in the natural sciences, and some examples are listed here. What is unique about our program? First, our faculty bring a diversity of world and nationally recognized expertise to the classroom. The expertise includes urban politics, water governance, fisheries economics, global governance and security, climate and energy economics and policy, global health, forestry, and coastal and climate resilience, among other areas. The faculty include economists, political scientists, policy scholars, and human geographers. Beyond our expertise in the EAP program, there are a number of environmental policy and economic scholars across Duke, such as at the Sanford School of Public Policy, the Energy Initiative, and at the Nicholas Institute of Environmental Policy Solutions. As a part of our professional master's program, EAP launches students into a variety of careers. Our alumni are employed at a variety of organizations, both governmental and non-governmental, such as at the US EPA, WWF, and Pew Trust, to name a few. They have pursued careers at the global, national, and local levels. Many former students work in consulting on a variety of environmental projects. We encourage you to follow us on social media. It will help you get a feel for the school. Our website is a great all-around resource, and if you would like to meet us in person or know when other virtual recruiting events will be happening, check out the events page. And you can feel free to contact me directly at elizabeth.albright at duke.edu. Thank you very much for listening.